You can change the default software template as well. If you change any of the object properties, there is an option at the bottom of the dialog box to save to template. When you make a change in the fill type and click on save to template, a dialog box opens to ask you where the current properties should be saved. For the fill, we'll choose other objects and the dialog box opens to warn you that it will affect the normal template. Click OK. If you make a change in the lettering style and click on Save to Template, choose Lettering. And again, the software warns you that it's going to change the normal template. Click OK. When you close the dialog box and open a new blank design, open Object Properties, those changes have taken place that you made within Object Properties. So these are now part of the default normal template. If you want to change the background color, you can also do this. Make your change, click OK, and then do File, Save as Template, select the normal template, and click Save. Click Yes to replace it, and now when you open a new blank design, not only have the changes occurred in object properties, but they also are in the background. Any changes that are made outside object properties can be made this way, such as selection of thread brand. If you wish to return to factory defaults, you can select the revert option, place a check mark by defaults, a check mark by templates, and click OK. Then when you open a new blank design, your defaults are restored to the normal settings.